Harvard. Harry Harvard's running for coroner again, folks, so give him a couple minutes, and uh, thanks for coming, Harry. <laughs> Harry, how was the food this morning? Pretty good. Very good. I've got some more I want to eat there. <laughs> My eyes are a little big, but still I'm going to keep some more. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to get to speak to you. I didn't plan to come speak. I just planned to come down and say hello and get familiar with the organization and all. And, uh, find out kind of what everybody was about, what we were all about. Uh, but anyway, I've been in your corner since the uh, first day of 1977, uh, 36 years. Uh, started off the first year, 100, about 182 calls. Now we're already over, this year, over 1,700 calls. We expect to go about 1,800 calls this year, uh, at least. And uh, Lexington County is growing, as you know. And uh, when we started off, it wasn't that big of a county, but we were, we were one of the fifth big, biggest counties in the state right now. I, I don't know if I'm going to say it in order or not, but you got Charleston, Richland, uh, Charleston, Richland, Greenville, Spartanburg, and Lexington. Spartanburg and Lexington stay tied most of the time, pretty well together. And uh, anyway, the coroner's office has changed so much since I went in. Uh, all of you know, and you've seen all everything the last several years, mainly about DNA. DNA has become a big uh, question now, and uh, we, we're trying to advance our office, and we have having to advance the spaces in our office. Save a lot of DNA. Uh, uh, we don't know how long we're going to have to save it, and it, it can be a problem. I mean, it, but, uh, but we they are moving us to a larger office now, and uh, we we really getting progressing on that, and it's coming along real well. And uh, <laughs> I like my work, uh, and I tell you, uh, like I say, you get into a lot of technical, but probably the hardest thing you do. In the corner's office, and it's not technical. You go out about one o'clock in the morning and tell that family that 18 year old is not coming back home. And when you t and you don't have a speech for that, it's not a speech for that. Uh, I think it takes a special person, and I got and I got some special people in my office. But uh, and in our office, we try to put the right people in the right places. We got a, a gentleman that's him as a pathologist and he works part time with us. Uh, he's uh, one of the deaners there and, and he does most of our calling to the doctors, the medical doctors themselves and all. And uh, you'll see, he understands probably better than we, than some of us know. He's, he's had more education in that. We've got several retired uh, detectives from the sheriff's department. Last year we got a forensic grant, several grants, uh, and we got a girl in there that's really knows what she's doing. And uh, a lot of times now you say, well, the sheriff's department has those things too, which they do, and we all work together. But a lot of times the smaller cities do not have a forensic pathology. And uh, of course, you know, that's where I personally can come in. And also, she'll call, if she sees she needs help, she'll call the sheriff's department to come in and help. We all work together. And I remember, I know all of you remember the old Quincy days. We Quincy. But that was about eight ages. I think, you know, you, you know, going along with the highway patrol and everybody. And uh, anyway, uh, I'd like to serve another term and mainly to see some things done. That's why I'm in that going back and see if we can't bring it up to. And I think we've always been up the top in the state and keep it there. And uh, any questions, I'd be glad to try to answer them. And uh, I appreciate any support and, uh, and any advice can be given. I'm not perfect. I'll take advice any time. Thank you. Thank you. Were you the first Republican corner? Sir? Were you the first Republican corner? I was the first Republican corner in the state of South Carolina since Reconstruction Day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep my freedom. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. That, that brings me actually to a question. Why is it that you suppose the corner is either Republican or Democrat or whatever? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I mean, 
Because you were both, then you got a better <laughs> chance to go to heaven. <laughs> I missed out on that. Well, I guess, I guess like the other constitutional officers, a clerk of court or whatever, I mean, we all went to the courthouse and, and uh, we all went along that line. You run as Republican or Democrat. And, well, I just didn't know if Democrats declared people dead any differently than Republicans declared people dead. Does it have to do with spending? Or yes. your, <laughs> sir? Does it have to do with spending? Come up, we brought it up some, but no, uh, I'd say we were probably the second lowest uh, office in, in, in the county as far as uh, budget. Is that right? And uh, no, and no. it's not, it's, it's not, it's not a real spending office. But uh, as time goes on and uh, <coughs> brain spending on. When we first went in, hell, we worked 24 hours a day. But now, you know, if you label all and all, and you got to have backups and you're growing, of course you're going to have a little more spending. So, I mean, you can't work, people can't, you can't work people over the label all. And, uh, but it, it's a lot different, but, it, but it's still down. Mr. Martin, you may know it. When y'all when are not here, you're working, have been working, you sit around a lot or two or just a cup of coffee. I know you have all these jokes. I don't know, you know, talking about Lazarus being raised for dead or whatever. What's the funniest joke you've ever heard in the coroner's office? All the <laughs> 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 this is a common nation. I don't know what you can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell us, you can tell us. Well, don't worry, he's not going to put it on. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn the camera off. You might want to turn the camera off. No, no. Well, it's not, you know, not, not really funny or be, can be humorous or, I mean, it can be true. Or, uh, you, you go out and, uh, and something happens with, uh, like, uh, <coughs> uh, like in a murder scene. But one, one of the scenes I went to, I guess, and you call it a joke. I guess the funniest thing, I, I guess you call it funny, or I, you may not call it funny, but uh, a boy had used a vodka bottle of his right. Oh my God. And uh, so I guess that is an off story that it would kind of meet what you asked for. Yeah, it And uh, you, you have several things like that. Did it have a top on it? <laughs> no, sir, it wasn't a top on it. It was an empty bottle, a pocket bottle, one of the uh, pork bottles. Is this like a thousand ways to die? It's a thousand ways to die. 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 And sometimes that is, uh, I would say, it's probably a mechanism to help you get by a bad scene. And sometimes people will resort to some kind of, and, uh, it's going to be off color. I can tell you that right now. It's going to be something everybody will enjoy. But when you're in a, when you're in a very stressful and a very, uh, uh, say, a death scene that's, that's really working on your mind, sometimes somebody can say something like that. And it pulls you away from it for a second, for, for just a second. And that's helpful. So it's not, it's not that we get on the scene and joke. But sometimes <laughs> things are said that are, are out, are amusing. Sometimes they're just outright funny. You're dealing with heavy stuff. I mean, it has to get to you after a, a while. You get, the humor is the only, sometimes the only thing you can do. It, it breaks it up for you sometimes. But if you're under that, it's almost yeah. like a weight. You can feel it sometimes. sometimes. It's almost like a physical weight. Y'all, Santa Claus is here. Keep you out of the I don't know if you need to see this car tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I saw like a fireman yeah. saying there's a crispy critter in there. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Ross, uh, Mickey Garrison, who's also known as Santa Claus, and a uh, professional photographer just came in. Mickey, thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, but speak, speaking about humor, I agree. Yeah, so, you know, on the 
on the Casey Council a short time I've been there, I've died a number of political deaths. That's the only thing I can do is I can say about politics. I've died a few times. Sometimes I come back. But, uh, and your colleagues still have managed to hang on. <laughs> yes, I've had. But, and Buddy's done this before several times. He's gone through a lot of them. And several of you have. Paul went through the death, and he never he came back. He's still out of the political side. Yeah. I'm still in purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working my way back out. So Mr. Well, Jennings has something... I just want to say a word in behalf of Mr. Harmon. I'm the historian, as most of you know. I'm 74 years old. I was here when he went in office. <laughs> so was he. I remember when there was no Republican Party. And uh, y'all y'all asking, well, it doesn't matter whether a Republican or a Democrat pronounces you dead. You dead. But one thing <laughs> that I've always uh, found interesting about the coroner's office is the fact that uh, the coroner, and I believe this still holds true, is the only man in the county that can relieve the sheriff. Is this not still correct yes, if that's necessary? Correct. That's correct. Uh, it's changed some. Uh, when I Probably. first went in, it was, that's the way it was. Now, if the sheriff uh, died or the sheriff retired, uh, the chief deputy now would take over. Yeah. But now, if it's a misdemeanor or anything like that, yeah. then the coroner would take over until somebody else was appointed. Well, Corey and a lot of us uh, think that the sheriff should be about the most important man in the, in the area. And this is the only man that can really, because we got checks and balances in our government. One of my uh, things that I think has always been funny when I speak a lot of times, and I, I've known several, a number of coroners uh, down in Sumter County. I'm yes, and uh, Verna Moore over there, an old friend of mine, she had to call me one night and tell me that my 21-year-old beautiful daughter was dead. It, it was as unpleasant for her as it was for me because she had known me for years. But they go through a rough time. But I like to uh, uh, tell everybody that he's the most dangerous man in the, in, in the county. Uh, if he says you're dead <laughs> legally, they'll bury you. So watch out. Stay close to your car. And, and I, I, I thought Corey said something. Thanks, you know, Corey says, thanks, Mr. Gaddis. Uh, Corey said something the other day about the sheriff's first problem, right, Corey? You got the sheriff's problem. Well, uh, are you talking about the coroner's first and the immigration problem related to coroners? I mean, there's all sorts of humor there, Corey. I don't think it's something. What do you take? <laughs> <laughs> the, the immigration problem with coroners. <laughs> well, you take eight immigration and all that. We go through probably four to five names until we get the correct name of death of the Mexican. Uh, and that, that's really going on all the time. We we don't get the first we don't get it the first time most of the time. And uh, we, it, it, it's a lot of that going on. So, so you're and, saying it's it makes it harder. Yeah. And, um, you're saying it takes a lot of time. Yes, sir. Takes a lot of time. So that's an expense to the state court. Exactly. Yeah. You, you almost got to put one person on there out of the office doing that all the time. So that's another issue. I'm not. Expense. Yeah. 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 This illegal lady said four or five aliases, man. It can be weeks of time. It costs too long. So I'm glad to stop this. Uh, Al, one more is all convicted felons uh, required to give DNA something? Under the new law, so we, the old law is what you were doing, the new law is now that's coming up. Uh, so if, if somebody yeah. yep. does something, you can use the use of the track. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, behind, as usual, uh, Mr. Very good, very good. You want to sing it? Huh? <laughs> hey, that's hard to say. I didn't realize it. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> when you get the branding out and out and get the steers poke. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Gibbs. <laughs> 